What's up, guys? My name is Cove, and uh, ranked battles are coming back. But before we start talking about that, I want to let you guys know that I will probably le be linking some um, uh, charities in the description of this video for Ukrainian refugees and um, the just people of Ukraine in general. Uh, they're going through a tough time right now, obviously. And... Uh, I feel like as a Western partner of the EU in the United States, supporting EU in military defense a lot of times, uh, it's kind of our job to make sure that the people of Europe are safe and um, don't struggle with this kind of uh, bullshit situation, honestly. Um, with that being said, uh, I'm definitely gonna try and find some, some good, uh, uh, charities to donate to, uh, to leave donation links for, and, uh, yeah, so if you, uh, haven't already, and you want to, they're gonna be probably in the description of this video, unless I just completely forget about it, which is, uh, probably not gonna happen, but, if it's not, somebody comment it, I guess, and I'll make sure I get that put in. Um, so, with that being said, let's get right into it. Ranked battles are coming back, at least to the North American server, in the worst possible time, honestly. They are releasing ranked battles three days before the bond auction for Clan Wars tanks ends. So, the first three days of of uh, ranked battles are going to be absolute dog shit because everybody's going to be trying to play to get the juicy bond rewards that you get from ranked battles. Now, there's some other interesting things that are going on with this ranked battle season. So, I will see you guys on the webpage and be right back. So, ranked battles, season three. The first season, I believe that anyone outside of getting gold league once so far is going to be able to get their hands on the new tier 10 premium tank destroyer well not premium but reward tank destroyer the 114 sp2 which is the entire reason i've been playing this rank season because i watched some videos on it right before and i looked at the stats and i was like huh it actually doesn't look half bad so anyway how is it going to look like? Well, it's going to start March 7th. And when it's actually going to start on March 7th is not this time. It is actually going to start at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Which is the standard time that United States runs off of for the most part. Uh, and it'll go nightly during the weeks. Or during the first week, I should say. Until uh, 1 a.m. Eastern Time every night on the US Central server. Um, I don't really, just not really gonna talk about the South American server in this video because I don't play on the South American server like unless I'm in a Clan Wars battle on the South American server. I haven't logged in to play a random on the South American server since they released the bots on that and I was just like, well, I'm gonna go check out and see how bad these bots are. So anyway, uh, the first weekend of battles are going to be an hour longer you have an hour more time to play it'll go until 2 a.m eastern time um now this is where it gets kind of interesting to me because i don't know that they've done this before but in the second week of ranked they're going to start it an hour earlier but also end it an hour earlier. And um, at night, <laughs> or on the weekends, they're going to end it 59 minutes later. So you're still going to have the same amount of play time, but in the second week, the the prime time schedule completely shifts an hour further forward and in the case of the weekend one minute 
an hour and one minute forward, or 59 minutes forward, I guess. Uh, so that's, uh, this is a little weird, the, uh, the end time at 12.59 a.m., which is, I don't understand why that is, um, I, like, skimmed through this article already, but I don't, uh, I didn't really see anything as to why it's like that, but it is going to be, so be prepared for that, um, so, uh, new thing for season three, um, the concept won't be Milton packed 3d style for the concept won't be obviously, uh, it's going to be the same price as the Garmier style for, uh, the Conf Panzer 50 T, which is 5,000 bonds. Um, not sure how many people are actually going to have the 5,000 bonds to spend on this style. This style, I think, looks much better than the Garmir style, as it's only the front of the tank that has it. So it just kind of has that, oh, I drove into a volcano look um, to it. I kind of like it, honestly. Uh, I would never spend 5,000 bonds on a style, especially since I don't have a 907 or Chieftain. Um... And with the introduction of ranked uh, before the the campaign bidding ends, it is most certain that I will not have a chieftain from this campaign. So divisions uh, doesn't look like they've changed. Uh, yeah, they have. it would appear that they have changed. Yeah, no, they changed the amount of chevrons you need to go from 9 to 10 in Division 3. In Division 2, it's 8 to 9, or 8 to 10, and uh, Division 1, they've changed the amount of chevrons you need, I think. It would appear that is the case. Because the way I remember it, it was 2 all the way to 6, and then you had to get 3 for 7, 3 for 8... And I, yeah, it was just three after that for the third division, or division three. And then it was two all the way to four, and then you get three for five, and then it was three all the way to eight, and then you had to get, or three all the way to nine, and then you had to get four for ten. If I'm not remembering that improperly. But this is the way it's always been on the European and Russian servers, so I wonder if it's just, like, the wrong graphic for the NA server. Um, 94 chevrons. Okay, well, anyway. Uh, these are your qualification rewards, I believe. Yes. Yeah, these are the qualification rewards. Um, so, technically for me to get the SB2, I need to qualify and get through Division 3. And then I don't have to play anymore and I'll get the SB2. And then I'll do a uh, review on it probably immediately after I get it. So you guys can uh, check it out if you didn't get it. I guess. Uh, once you reach leagues, also, on top of this, once you reach leagues, you get daily missions where you can get up to 75 bonds a day. And these should renew, and I believe, yeah, these are daily bonus battles that you can also get. So, if you're, uh, like, I don't know, get, get Bronze League, and then uh, you can play your way to um, Gold League from Bronze League, I guess, with all of your bonus battles. Um, I did that, well, I, I tried to do that last season, and wow, that was bad. You're gonna get, okay. So, uh, within two weeks of the end of the season, you will get your, um, annual rewards. Any leftover rank tokens will be converted to 500 bonds. So, for people like me who are, like, kind of planning on uh, going through all of Ranked again this season, um, we're going to have leftover tokens. Let's see. I'm going to have two leftover tokens. So, 
Uh, that'll be a thousand bonds for me. Woohoo. Yippee. Can't use it on a chieftain because it's going to come in like three weeks after the bidding's over. Um, but anyway, so uh, it looks like you're going to get all of your rewards for the previous year of ranked and uh, within two weeks of the end of the season you'll just need to log into the game to grab it okay and then uh, any remaining rank tokens will be converted to bonds one rank token per 500 bonds or 500 bonds per rank token now if you want to check out what your reward's going to be based on how much you're going to play this time if you get three you're going to get the bronze legacy style and thousand bonds if you get six you're going to get a piece of uh bond equipment and a um, uh, bronze league style if you get to nine which is where i'm planning on getting to you'll get the 114 sb2 in your garage within two weeks at the end of the season you'll get two pieces of uh bond equipment of your choice you get to choose them after you select your reward uh, you get the silver league legacy style and you get the garage slot for the 114 sp2 if you are a massive giga chad and you are going through and getting all 15 ranked tokens you are going to receive the 114 sp2 three pieces of bond equipment the gold league style Legacy style and the garage slot for the 114 SP2. I don't know why they throw that up there as a reward. Obviously, you're gonna get a garage slot for getting the tank. Um, so yeah, uh, the the difference of six tokens literally only gets you a slightly better style and uh, one extra piece of bond equipment. So. Yeah, but hey, if you're reaching Gold League, you're either sweating your ass off or you're barely trying at all. And there's like no in between, apparently. So, yeah. <laughs> From the people that I know who have gotten Gold League, they're just like, eh, it wasn't that hard at all. Um, so. That's ranked. Time to get into my thoughts on the season. So, what do you want to avoid with this season of ranked? Uh, you want to avoid the first three days. Honestly, avoid that shit like the plague. Unless you need bonds to bid in the in the um, in the bond auction, you want to avoid the first three days of ranked because it is going to be an absolute shit show of a ton of bad players and good players trying to combine together to make decent teams so it's going to be the random queue is what it's going to be but it's going to be in ranked and that's not going to be good for your mental health so i would avoid the first three days if you do not need those bonds i will not be avoiding those three days because i do need those bonds now uh, on top of that, um, I'm only going to be playing for like a couple hours a day as soon as those first three days are over. Those first three days, I'm probably going to like no life it to try and like complete it as fast as possible, uh, especially with hopefully all the better players playing. I've got plenty of credits to make it through. Um, I don't have my IS4, which is really sad. I'm really wish i had that back um but yeah you you on those first three days you're going to have to play your meta vehicles and you're going to have to play them well um i will not play more than 10 battles a day uh, if it were me um after the first three days i'm not playing more than 10 battles a day um in the first three days, I'm probably going to play like 30 battles a day in those six-hour windows. So, it is what it is. But, um, yeah, 
also, uh, the battle pass is going on, so really, if you want to avoid ranked at all, you know, you're going to get about the same amount of bonds from ranked as you are from the battle pass, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see if they've actually pulled it up in game. Uh, no. No, they have not. So, um, there's probably going to be a micro patch uh, on March 7th that begins um, this season of ranked. I feel like I've become a little bit better of a player um, since the last season of Ranked, so hopefully I can actually make it into Silver. That's what I'm aiming for. Uh, ultimate goal, obviously, is to eventually make it up into Gold. Um, I want the Red Badge, obviously. And, but yeah. Other than that, it looks like it's going to... Other than the, the weird times and the... Uh, first three days it's it looks like it's going to be a pretty standard uh season of ranked um i wouldn't unless you are just like struggling to get through it i wouldn't just like no life it um you gotta play your best to get chevrons like if you're not playing your best i would just uh take a break for like, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, like watch a video, get something to eat, uh, get something to drink, uh, and like just kind of keep on trucking along at it, I guess. Um, after the fact, I guess, uh, I should say, uh, after you eat or drink or whatever, but yeah, uh, anyway, I'll be leaving those links in the description for Ukrainian charities for uh, refugees and hopefully I can find one for people like the people who stayed uh, but definitely refugees because uh, they're going to have a hard time in um, I think Poland's probably going to need some help with the amount of refugees that they've gotten and all that so yep uh, I didn't want to make a video uh, without mentioning what's going on so it's this is the first video I've made or stream I've done since uh, they began that uh, fight for their lives. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, that's all I got for you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.